Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a breast biopsy procedure, or lumpectomy. In but your case, you have a lump or thickening in your breast. It was felt by you or your doctor during a routine breast exam or discovered following a mammogram. Let's take a moment to look at the reasons why lumps form in breast tissue. The breast is made of layers of skin, fat, and breast tissue, all of which overlay the pectoralis muscle. Breast tissue itself is made up of a network of tiny milk-carrying ducts, and there are three ways in which a lump can form among them. Most women experience periodic changes to their breasts. Cysts are some of the most common kinds of tissues that can grow large enough to be felt and to cause tenderness. Cysts often grow and then shrink without any medical intervention. A second kind of lump is caused by changes in breast tissue triggered by the growth of a cyst. Even after the cyst itself has gone away, it can leave fibrous tissue behind. This scar tissue can often be large enough to be felt. The third kind of growth is a tumor. Tumors can be either benign or cancerous, and it is concern about this type of growth that has led your doctor to recommend breast biopsy. Sometimes you will have breast changes that cannot be felt by physical examination alone, but may be seen on a mammogram. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. Your doctor will scrub thoroughly and will apply an antiseptic solution to the skin around the area where the incision will be made. Then the doctor will place a sterile drape or towels around the operative site and will inject a local anesthetic. This will sting a bit, but your breast will quickly begin to feel numb. Usually, the surgeon will inject more than one spot in order to make sure that the entire area is thoroughly numb. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, the surgeon will make a small incision. Once the incision has been made, your doctor will begin looking for the lump that is to be removed. You will feel some pressure or even slight tugging or pulling, but you should not feel any sharp pain. If you do begin to feel pain, you should tell the doctor and you will be given more anesthetic. Once the lump is removed, the doctor will close the skin over the incision as neatly and as cosmetically as they are able. Finally, a sterile dressing is applied. Your specimen will be sent immediately to a lab for microscopic analysis. Your doctor will tell you when to expect results from those tests.